traffic whips and stuff like that, right? Everybody's, it's like the NFED half wave antenna. Everybody's going bananas over it. Just doesn't need another wire in for the park. Yeah, just hang it up and go and uh, you're on the air pretty quick. Push the button on your tuner and you're all set up. But if you don't have a tuner, then you want to go resonant. So anyways, this, this antenna does need a tuner. Um, and it's designed for radios with a built-in tuner. That's why I don't have 901 Balan on it. Uh, because I would be using it connected directly to the end of the of the antenna tuner. Okay, so we got a couple antennas. We got the JNC radio, my best pocket antenna, small, lightweight. Look at that size of a hand. Um, I've made successful contacts with this. It's a great little antenna. It's really a mobile antenna, be stuck on top of a car using a, a fixed mount. Um, the MCC 750, so this is the vertical that everybody's uh, kind of familiar with now. It's been on the market for a while. It's, 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 a, it's a great seller. Um, they're doing uh, pretty good with this antenna as far as sales goes. And the reason, because it's all laid out, right? It's got a beautiful case, you know, pockets for everything, 40 meter coil. Comes with the wires, telescopic whip, ground rod, base rod. I made some adapters here for it. Uh, they make they sell the adapters as well. Uh, I put some ground stakes in here for the uh, the counterpoise, and then there's the the connector assembly itself. The other one I added now. This so this is my third JNC radio Chelligans antenna. So this is the die pull. So another pouch in here with connectors, adapters, bolts. Uh, they do make uh, some adapters now that cover the M10 thread for 3 8 thread. So the two telescopic whips are 17 feet long. I can use that with uh, with some other stuff. But hey, it's all purpose built for the uh, for the uh, that uh, that die pull there. So nothing to worry about. Everything's all complete, man. Just. You can get it in the mail from uh, DX Engineering and uh, go straight to the park. Just just make sure you have coax, but you may have ordered uh, ABR coax. So th that's kind of it. A quick quick look here at uh, what's in the kits here. Um, this is a prototype of the uh, Pactena antenna. I I. I I guess as a prototype board, there was some opportunity to do a couple of things. So I made it wire, wider so I can, made the holes wider so I can kind of use it with uh, some of the carabiners that I have. But basically it's, there's no balance on it, nothing. It's just, it's just straight through, kind of a hack job. But hey, it looks, looks pretty military specification to me. What would the military do? They would say, oh, just adapt. And uh, we adapted, so. It'd be nice to have this wire flush, right? But I think it, uh, I think it's pretty cool. So anyways, hey, yeah, we have that. So here's a bunch of stuff. Um, I'm gonna have to charge my uh, 817 battery now. Go, oh, wait a minute, I have my Icom 705. Plus besides, it doesn't really matter because I have my uh, battery and uh, I didn't bring the battery out, but you know, a couple of things I pimped out here. I got the wind camp, Anderson pull adapter. That's a must. I highly recommend that. I don't know how I ran this radio without it. I got a little cover there just to protect the back connector. And uh, Goal Zero Rails for it, of course. Great brand for rails. And uh, I got the knob on it. Can't remember what the, the guy called it. And I believe I have the CW filter in this. So there we go, dead battery. Go on external power, put it on charge. So quite the loadout. So just, just not everything fit in here. This is my 705 grab and go. 703, I just had it in a, a small pouch. I had everything now into uh, a bigger duffel bag. Um, so I had a separate duffel bag for that. Only, only because I'm just doing experiments and stuff like that. And then here, uh, I've got my think tank, got my camera in here. The 905, 70, sorry, the 705, yeah, yeah, the 905 control head will all fit in this. It's a, it's a holster for a camera with a digital lens. I have my camera in it now, but the 705 will fit in perfect. 
bunch of coax cables. I love the buddy pole stuff. Had it for years, never had a problem. RG58 works out perfect. Um, and this is really just a, a camera tripod case uh, for the JNC Radio Chaligans. So, QSB in the band. Our guy has disappeared. It's a great little pocket radio, the PL365. Got this at, from one of the hand fests, uh, Kevin. I think Kevin's call sign is VE3RCA. He's got one of the nicest audios um, that I've heard on the nets, and he runs a pretty good net on, uh, on 75. So quick pocket radio. Um, I had the original one from Countycom. It's the exact same thing. Texan may have made a much slight change to this or not, but... The uh, the, <laughs> the uh, glow in the dark printed rubber case for it's actually uh, pretty cool. Oh, and the jaws clamp. Never leave home without it. The uh, jaws clamp allows me to connect to a bunch of different things and connect the antenna. It's primarily I'm using that with the uh, the Gabil 7350. Get the TC model. It does have the 38-24 stud, which is what you want. Um, the original one that came out has the uh, M connector, which is like a PL259. Nothing wrong with it. It's just I was so frustrated with it with the uh, toy box antenna, the MH350, uh, that for me, everything is stud mounted. I try to avoid a lot of the, the M mount type stuff, even though on my uh, mobiles and my one dock two gig antenna, they all have the uh, that type of a mount on it, and I've got the magnet mounts for it. But you know that's that's different bands and stuff like that. It's not really something I, I find for uh, for HF. I just don't find it convenient, or even probably rugged enough um, because of that mount on it. Because in the past I've had some stuff fall apart, so. Uh, we want reliability and quantity. So that's it. Quick look at the bag there. And um, buy me an espresso, I guess. And I'm going to say 73s. Any any questions, leave below or just, just send me a direct link and uh, I'll do my best to answer you in a timely manner. And uh, we're going to go get this uh, 817 charged up and put the 705 in its place. 73s, V3 IPS out.